Okay, we're going to show you FixPix. FixPix is a new panel by Hotdoor, the developers of CAD tools. So FixPix has a lot of new features. Uh, the first one is Constrained Nudge. A constrained Nudge is very cool because if you've been using Illustrator for any length of time, you know that you spend a lot of time moving your artwork with the arrow tool or with the arrow keys one little point at a time to try to get everything to line up exactly where you want it. And oftentimes you have to zoom in to 6400% so you can move little tiniest bits possible, but then you lose sight of the big picture. What the constraint nudge allows you to do is have control over that nudge distance. So right now you can see that it's moving one point just like the arrow keys were. But I could also make it move, say, a half point. And you'll see it move a half point each time. Now it's kind of hard to see. But there's another feature in here, attributes for selected paths. This is something I've always wanted since the very first time I laid eyes on Adobe Illustrator. I thought, why can't I see the x, y values of the points on the screen? So now we have that. So for instance, this is at 299.57. So you'll see if I move this over, it's 299.5 now, 57, because I'm moving 0.5 points at a time. And this thing does support all the way down to 0.1 point. So you can move it like that. Now another thing you may want to do is do it similar to the way you would do in Illustrator now where you do zoom in and nudge. So you could do that as well. You can turn on scale distance with zoom, which is pretty neat. If I scale the distance, you'll see it's one point at 100%. But let's say I scroll into, I zoom in to say 200%. See, now it's automatically 0.5 points. And if I go in, say 400%, 600%, 0.2 points. So you'll see it at 57.4, 57. If I nudge it, it's now 57.6. See, very neat because I have full control over it now. The other feature we have in here is attributes for selected points. I've always wanted, again, to be able to control uh, exact points on the screen, uh, especially for the in and out points of Bezier curves. So if I draw a simple curve on the screen, Now what we can do is see the selected values on the screen. And let's just say this one is good, but I actually wanted that at 170, 110. So I can select that point and come over here to the anchor X and anchor Y and change that to 170, 110. And now it is exactly where I wanted that to be. Also in Illustrator, when you select a path with the uh, direct selection tool, or the, uh, sorry, the regular selection tool, you don't get to see the in and out control points. So uh, these show you that those are anchors. We can also show the segment numbers, segment number one, two, and three, the X, Y values, and the units. So we can see that this is actually 32 points, 203 points up. So this, again, attributes for selected points works on any selected point. So I can select the point, and it will show me where my in point is, my anchor point is, my out points are. Because I have show in out control point labels. I can turn those off as well. So that's a very neat feature to be able to know exactly where they are. So I may want to say, well, I need this curve slightly different. So I could try to drag that handle and adjust it, but if I want really clear control, I could change the in X point, say, to 94 points, and you'll watch the subtle, subtle change made to the curve, which you just can't do visually. So this allows you to have extreme fine control 